afternoon. I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this Wednesday afternoon. Glenwood officials have set a timeline for the appointment of a new mayor. Meeting in regular session last night, the Glenwood City Council set an appointment date for December 29th at 5.30 p.m. at Glenwood City Hall. The move follows the council's approval of former Mayor Ron Cohn's resignation late last month. City Administrator Amber Farnan says the appointment needs to be made between 4 and 20 days after the official notice is published, which she plans to put in the paper December 20th. One of KMA Land's greatest Yuletide traditions continues in honor for the man who started it all. For more than a half century, the Baird Christmas Light Display at 1233 E Avenue, northwest of Red Oak, has been a major holiday destination. It's the first year without the display's creator, Jack Baird, who died last Christmas at the age of 91. Jack's son, Chris, is among the family members carrying on his father's light display legacy. Speaking on KMA's Morning Line program this morning, Chris says the decision to erect the display this year was easy. As in previous years, the display features a vast array of brilliantly lit buildings, vehicles, and animated characters. Spectators will notice two poignant additions to this year's menagerie, memorials to not only Jack Baird, but his son-in-law, Miles Russell. Now, visitors can view the Baird Christmas lights every night from 5 to 10 p.m. until New Year's night. You can hear the entire interview with Chris Baird with the web story at KMALand.com as well as on our Morning Line page. State law enforcement officials remind motorists of ways to stay merry and bright on the roadways this holiday season. The Iowa State Patrol is one of several agencies across the state partnering with the Governor's Traffic Safety Bureau, urging drivers to think twice before drinking and driving between December 15th and January 1st. And May Mentoring's new skipper is charting a new course for the long-running mentoring program. Back in July, Lindsay Roberts succeeded Kim Leinecker as the program's coordinator. Founded in 2000 by Ed May Jr., May Mentoring involves adults spending one hour a week or a total of four hours a month with at-risk students providing support, encouragement, and direction. KMA on track weather, mostly sunny this afternoon. Highs of the upper 40s, mostly clear tonight, lows in the upper 20s. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 this evening and online at kmaland.com. Have a good rest of your day. Mike Peterson, so long, my friend.